Unemployment has hit a 16-year high, and if you're one of the millions who know the pain about losing your job or if you're just looking to make a change, you might not have to look any further than the people you already know. That's the philosophy behind a new book by executive recruiter Bob Bodine called The Power of Who. Bob, good morning. Hey, great your to be here. Your on this show could not come at a better time. I know it. People losing their jobs, it, they, it's as if their whole worlds have collapsed. You know, they feel like they've taken a hit. Um, it's like they've been in a car accident. Uh, so... If you've been in a car accident, who do you call? Do you call people you know or people you don't know? We talk about the networking, talking about the Rolodex at the first place we're told to go. You say no. Yeah. You know, I, are you going to pull out a business card? No. What, you know, when, when you've lost your job, it's a totally different dynamic. People don't feel comfortable calling their friends. They're embarrassed. So what do they do? They do something called traditional networking. What is that? faceless websites. They're going handing out business cards to people they don't know. They're, they're sending letters to me. Dear sir, to whom it may concern, dear recruiter. Dear recruiter, that's an oxymoron, right? But the, the real who, the real who you talk about are the people you already know, your circle of friends, the people <clears throat> who include your allies, your advocates, your acquaintances, your fans. Yeah. Are you, are you, are you, my mother's not going to help me get my, a job. My, my brother's not going to help me get a job. Or my friend, or, or are they? Yes, here's the thing. Your best asset in a time of crisis is the relationships you already have. Mm. So when I talk to people about, you know, uh, what do they do next, I created a strategy, a simple strategy called the 140 strategy. And that is to totally organize their search. Because, you know, when I do coach searches, you know, coaches taught me that, you know, you, you got to have a playbook. Coach, you know, the quarterbacks, they have something on their arm. We've got to see who these people are. We've forgotten them. How did we forget our friends? So the 100 are your who. You get somewhere in between 1 and 100 in your whole lifetime. Okay, the 40, well, we got to be we got to be specific to people about what we want. So when I ask you, I don't do that old Jerry Maguire. You've got to help me help you. What do you want? How can I help you? And, so, this, and this idea of the who is really important because these are the people who know you, know right. what you really want. In fact, they may know even better who you are and what you want than you might remember. You're so right. See, I tell people that friends are different. Friends help you now. Acquaintances, yeah, they just wish you well. See, a friend is someone who knows the song in your heart. And they can sing it back to you when you've forgotten the words. So if that's the case, then what you're saying is we turn around and we have conversations and we reach out and we say, I'm looking for work. Right. And, 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 and the difficulty with that, we're held back by shame, worried, insecurity, all those things. Well, well, I can see you're just you're yes. shaking your head. No, we're, we are just overwhelmed with, with worry and shame. And so we go off and do something. I tell everybody, take everything you've ever learned about networking, throw it out because it's crap. Mm. It just so. doesn't work. It's about friends. Friends help you find jobs. Okay, so you've made that point. So you say get off the bench, get in the game, how? Yeah. Okay, well, the first thing is you're not alone. You've got who. And so we have to first look. And, and when I say you got who, you have a community of friends that you've developed over many years through love and unconditional giving. These people want to help you. You know, somehow God pre-wired us to help our friends. And so we got to go to them. There's three reasons you're not going to get what you want. What are they? You don't ask. It's an mm. epidemic problem. You know, we'd rather not ask our friends why. I don't know. Uh, if you and I are best friends, I ask you for help. Would you help me? Yes. I, well, well, yeah, if you're uh, my friend. Of, of course, course I then, would. But, but then why would you let me help you? It's, see, it never mm. works in reverse. See, and then some people, they want to do it my way. The old Frank Sinatra song. You know that song, right? The only problem is that Paul Anker wrote that song. Mm. Somebody else did the orchestration, the arrangement. There's no such thing as my way. Woe to the person and pity this person who doesn't allow friends and family and teachers and parents and coaches to actually help them. And actually, you know, what you can do is you can create the relationship where you're going to help them back if, in fact, you know, you, in other words, it's a way to promote your relationship. You say the people who are successful at this, they start, they're not discouraged by obstacles, they turn mistakes into success, they maintain self-discipline, and they stick to it. So what your bottom line message is, don't give up. Turn to the people you love, and you will not only get a job, you're saying they're out there, yes. you're saying you, you actually may even find the job that you were supposed to have. You know, my favorite quote in the world is by a guy named G.K. Chesterton. He said, the one thing in life that gives radiance above other thing is there something great just around the corner? Are you looking for it? Bob Bodine, I just feel good just sitting next to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for being here this morning. Thank the you. book, which is <laughs> could not be better timed, is called The Power of Who. Thank you.